This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, the 18th of August. I'm Michael Groff. Yesterday in the Valley, temperatures right where they should be, a high of 104 degrees with the dry air. We got down into the upper 70s, even in the mid-city. And today, pretty similar to yesterday, dry conditions will continue. We might tack on a degree or two worth of warming both today and tomorrow. But overall, temperatures right around normal. What about the weather for the solar eclipse? And do we have any rain chances in our forecast? Well, we'll talk about that as we look outside this morning. Here at 5 a.m., what a beautiful view toward Camelback Mountain. Crystal clear skies. That's pretty unusual for this time of day at this time of year here in the heart of the monsoon season. 81 degrees at Sky Harbor, and you can see why it's so clear. It's bone dry out there. Dew points at 37, relative humidity 21%. The winds are light, and the barometer is steady. Temperatures out there this morning, 74 Litchfield Park, 72 Glendale, 73 in Gilbert. In fact, most spots in the 70s, the only 80s to be found consistently are in central Phoenix in the middle of the urban core. Satellites got clear skies. You see the winds are starting to veer out of the southwest if you look carefully there. And we'll talk about that in more detail shortly. The watch warning map shows an air quality alert for Maricopa County. That's for elevated levels of ozone. Red flag warnings parts of the northern Rockies uh, through much of Montana and heat advisories along the Gulf Coast from Beaumont, Texas to Morgan City, Louisiana, and some heat advisories as well for the coastal Carolinas. On the convective outlook, a slight risk of severe storms for some of the major East Coast hubs, such as Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York. The marginal risk extends from around Virginia Beach up to Albany and Syracuse. Another marginal risk zone from around Oklahoma City to Tulsa, Kansas City, Lincoln, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Iowa. As far as our weather goes, let's get into the details of that now. And to do so, we'll check the models. Here's the GFS. It's the 06Z run, valid at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time today. High pressure building back northward uh, across the southern plains and into the southwest states. The flow aloft gradually turning from westerly to southwesterly. Ultimately, it will become southerly by this weekend. And showers and storms across northwest Mexico, but here in the valley, just another sunny day. Dry conditions, high temperatures, we'll say 102 to 106, pretty similar to yesterday. Tonight, clear skies, lows in the 70s to low 80s. Tomorrow, another mostly sunny day, maybe a few afternoon clouds. And high temperatures, again, 102 to 106, a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm in eastern Arizona, especially down toward the southeast corner of the state but we should stay dry here in the valley. On Sunday, flow aloft turns more southerly as we have troughing developing along the central and southern California coast, high pressure over the southern plain states. So between those systems, more of a broad southerly flow. The humidity levels start coming up. We'll call it partly sunny on Sunday with a slight chance of a late afternoon shower or storm. I think the better concentration of storms will be over the mountains, though. Still can't rule it out, but the best bet from any storm will be the threat of blowing dust. All right, Monday, solar eclipse day. This is 11 a.m. Monday morning. You know, this is depicting a few showers um, in the western part of the state and in uh, southern California, southern Nevada. But let's look more specifically here at the cloud cover uh, put out by the GFS. And it's got a few clouds here over southern Arizona. But the day is looking mostly sunny for the eclipse viewing. I would say more sun than clouds, at least. Uh, not going to be a perfectly clear sky, but... Should be pretty good for the viewing here in Arizona at this point, especially here in Phoenix. Let's check the European at the same time, 11 a.m. Monday morning. Uh, it's got a few clouds, some scattered clouds here across much of Arizona, but overall pretty decent viewing. Otherwise, the rest of the day, partly sunny skies by the afternoon and a slight chance of a late afternoon shower or storm. But the thing is, the flow aloft is kind of south-southwesterly, not really favorable for bringing storms in off of the mountains into the deserts. Nonetheless, I think there's enough moisture around that we at least have a 10% chance of storms. Highs backing off just a bit, maybe into the 100 to 103 bracket. Tuesday, same thing. Generally south-southwesterly flow, not very favorable for storms to come in here, but can't rule it out completely. We'll say a 10% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. Better chances in the higher terrain. Highs 100 to 103. Same thing on Wednesday. Thursday looks like sharper troughing beginning to approach the Pacific Northwest coast. The flow aloft more southwesterly. The moisture shunted a bit further to the east toward the border of our state. So looks like no chance of rain here if this verifies. And high temperatures still held in check. Upper 90s to about 102. 
Here's a week from today. This is Friday, the 25th of August. It's a pretty good looking trough there. Moving on to the Pacific Northwest Coast, Upper Heights down to about 558 decameters there. Pretty strong for late August. And our heights just a tad bit below average here. So temperatures would still be at or below normal levels. And any chance of storms would be confined to far eastern Arizona. Here's Saturday, the 26th of August. High pressure in the southern tier of the United States. This does not look overly favorable for storms to get going back here toward the valley. So I think we're still kind of dry and highs rebounding just a bit to the 101 to 105 range. And here's the end of the forecast period. This is Sunday, the 27th of August. High pressure sitting right on top of us. That might spark a warming trend and highs maybe getting back above normal somewhere in the 103 to 107 range if this is right. And the chance of storms would be pretty limited. Let's look at the temperatures coming off of the GFS ensemble through the period. Looks like pretty much near normal or maybe even a degree or two below normal for the next several days. But then out there toward day 9 and 10 and so on, uh, we get a bit of a warm up as we head toward the latter part of August and maybe cooler by the time we get into September. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is back here tomorrow morning. Thanks as always so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Stay cool. Be safe out there. Have a great Friday.